Today we're going to test out a little piece of technology that I got on eBay for about 25 bucks and it's just going to make it so that this old motherboard that I have here with only two PCIe slots to have there's one there's two on there and I'm going to expand one of them to four so I'll have a total of five not enough to fill up this entire rig but you know five cards if it works that is and if it doesn't oh well I'm going to bring you in close now and I'm going to show you everything I replace and um, once I get everything plugged in and everything like that, I'm going to go ahead and test it out and uh, I'm going to run it for a while and see if the miner crashes or something like that. This That could totally happen. The miner could crash because of this uh, thing in it. I don't know why, but you know, it, it could if it's just too much to handle, if there's too many risers. Uh, so let's see what happens. Okay, so here we are really up close to the miner. Now, as you can see, we have two PCIe slots and they're both being taken up by these two cards right here. Now my plan is to take the thing I mentioned earlier. We got a PCIe right here and it comes over to four of them. Now we're gonna have to power this thing and uh, this is just gonna act like a riser except it's gonna give us <laughs> access to put in four risers here and then even more cards. So I'm gonna test this out on the second slot. So there's a one by 16 slot here and then there's a little um, by one slot. And I'm just gonna take this one out as you can see and I'm gonna actually take this one and plug it in. And before I do that, I do that actually, I'm gonna quickly cable manage this a little bit better. Uh, I think it looks pretty bad right now and I could do a better job. Okay, so I'm in the middle of cable managing and I just realized that I'm actually gonna be using PCIe power to actually be powering um, this little thing here. So I'm gonna quickly bring in another cable like here and I'm gonna put this in and since I wasn't going to film during the whole cable management part. You would have never known that I put in this extra cable. But I'm just letting you know that I'm going to be putting in an extra PCIe 6. This is 8 pins, but it only needs 6. 6 to 6 into my server power supply. And that's how I'm going to be powering it. So uh, just in case you missed that, um, I'm going to be powering it with this. All right, so I think I'm, I'm just going to plug this in now so I can figure out where it would go to cable manage it best. So I'm going to just put it into the second one, by one slot here. And I think like something like right here or something, I don't know, uh, I, I guess it really doesn't matter. I'm just going to throw it somewhere. One problem I am seeing right now is the tension that this um, wire is being put on in any direction. It's kind of lifting it out of the PCIe slot. And I've had errors happen before with things like this where it's not, it kind of just moves a little in the PCIe slot. So I think I'm going to have to figure out a way to keep that strapped down without moving. So that's definitely going to cause some errors if that just like slowly over time falls to the side. Okay, so I've put a zip tie right here that goes under the board and over the board and it kind of keeps this thing in place. There's also a little thing made of cardboard right here that kind of sits um, below this thing and it keeps it from moving. So it doesn't move at all now. So over time, like when the cables like has tension on it, it's not going to go anywhere. Okay, so here's a little update. Um, we are here on Google Chrome Remote Desktop, and I'm just um, sharing the screen from my miner here. And as you can see, um, both of the cards are actually getting um, the usual um, souls that they get. That's a little low. I don't know. It's going to even out after a while. But for now, it looks like it's working, but time will actually be able to tell. Sometimes I think things with this, like I feel like it could crash after a while. I'll just let you know how the hash rates go in like an hour or so. It's 5.52 at around 7 o'clock. I'll uh, update you one more time. Okay, so as you saw, I did get a crash. And that was even after I fixed the PCIe slot from uh, moving. So uh, it was correctly um, working and everything. And... Um, and the slot wasn't being moved. It wasn't. There wasn't any errors because it moved out of the slot. It said that I had an overclocking error, so I guess that's a thing. Um, I'm gonna have to do another video on this because I don't have time to <laughs> do a lot of research. I want to get this video uh, done now. Um, but it recognizes both the cards. It gets um, similar hash rates. It's just that I, it crashes every once in a while. Now I am using DSTM miner. And um, in my follow-up video, I'm going to be using a different t bunch of different types of miners to see if it's working. It's just that one day, I'm going to have to just um, let the computer go using um, DSTM for a little bit um, with different overclocks. Then some days, I'm going to have to let it go all day using EWBF's miner. It's going to be a long process. So 
uh, a bigger video on this coming out soon. I didn't know that it was going to take this much research to um, get this video done, but um, anyway, uh, let's get to that extra outro, whatever you call it. Okay, so that's it for this video. If you do get it, definitely purchase it from the description. It's just an eBay link. It's where the cheapest is. It's not an affiliate link. It's just if you want it, you can have it. You're not helping me out in any way. It's just it's just a link. I want to just say thanks for so many subscribers coming in. I know I said this in the last video as the main topic of the last video, um, but I just I'm really happy to see us, a lot of people coming in and I hope you're enjoying the videos. New camera is coming soon. I like this one. I mean, it's just my phone. My iPhone 7 is doing a pretty good job actually making these videos. Um, so if you just get some good lighting and a uh, iPhone tripod, you can actually make some pretty good videos, I guess, uh, if you, that's your thing. So that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.